He was told that he wouldn't live to be a teenager. In fact, he probably wouldn't live past 10. But just last month, Ryan Dant graduated from his dream school. Just ahead of Father's Day, the story of a young man who defied the odds and a dad who refused to take no for an answer. Ryan, when he was little, would talk about going away to the University of Louisville. But Mark and Gene Dant never thought they'd see this moment. Ryan Dant. Their son wasn't supposed to don a cap and gown. He wasn't supposed to live to see his 13th birthday. And then to watch. You know, I, it was, it's emotional thinking now about the moment that wasn't going to happen, but then happened. Ryan was just three years old, living in North Texas when he was diagnosed with MPS-1, a rare disease without a cure. He asked me what it would be like when he died. He was probably seven. Born without an enzyme that helps break down certain proteins, over time, the protein buildup causes joints to stiffen, damages organs, and leads to severe brain damage. No cure, but no is a word this father didn't understand. Well, it's amazing to see how parents never give up on anything. They started the Ryan Foundation with a bake sale and hope for a cure. It happened by hard work and a little bit of chance, maybe, but the alignment of the stars. That money helped fund a clinical trial at UCLA, where a doctor had a big idea, testing a synthetic version of the enzyme Ryan was missing. Without that clinical trial, I wouldn't be here today. It led to the only FDA-approved drug for people with MPS. Ryan could play sports again, went to high school, but the drug wasn't reaching his brain. His brain function was declining, and his dream of being a Louisville Cardinal seemed impossible. How am I going to be able to pass college? There was another clinical trial, injecting that same drug through the spine. But this time, Ryan didn't qualify. The blockage in his spine was so bad, they thought it would prevent the drug from reaching his brain. I made a Facebook post saying something like, things are never easy. That Facebook post was seen by a nurse who thought maybe it could be done here at UT Southwestern. The stars aligned. The team mirrored the trial with a compassionate use trial. Neurologist Elizabeth Marr thought the drug could bypass the spinal cord blockage and get to the brain. Not only did it work, it reversed damage. He said for the first time in his life, he was able to read a book from cover to cover and remember the story. Two weeks after his graduation, so proud of you! Ryan caught up with the people that helped get him across that stage. At the end, I finished with a 3.55 GPA. By him taking every single step across the stage, he was leading the way for others to know that this, it can happen. MPS 1 impacts just one in 100,000 kids around the world. The Ryan Foundation continues to raise funds for rare diseases, and the hope is that this research could really pave the way for other children like Ryan to start getting this final treatment much earlier. He wants to work in sports management, a Rangers fan from the womb, and very clearly, nothing is going to stop this kid.